I'm Richard Roper. This is the Roper Rundown. The odds for Super Bowl XLIX, aka XLIX, aka Super Bowl 49, have Seattle and New England right around a pick 'em. That means they're so evenly matched, the game is a toss up. There's never been a pick 'em in the history of Super Bowl odds. Miami was favored by one point over Washington in Super Bowl 7, and San Francisco was a one point favorite over Cincinnati in Super Bowl 16. The largest spread was when the 49ers gave a whopping 18 and a half points to the Chargers in 1995, and they still covered winning 49 to 26. Now I think New England's gonna beat Seattle 27 to 17, but don't hold me to that. Now you wanna talk about some really heavy favorites. This year's Oscars have some of the surest of sure things in recent memory. Now you can't bet on the Oscars in Vegas, but the folks at the online betting site Bavada have set some interesting odds. For example, in the best picture category, Boyhood is a one to 14 favorite. Now you'd almost never see a one to 14 favorite in any sports event or any horse race. What it means is this, if you wanted to net a single dollar on Boyhood winning Best Picture, you'd have to risk 14 bucks of your own money. Now let's say Selma springs the upset. The odds on Selma are 18 to one, meaning you'd win $18 on a wager of just a dollar. Best Actor is pretty much a toss up between Michael Keaton and Eddie Redmayne. If you're one of the other three guys, just show up at the Oscars, have a great time, knowing you have almost no chance of winning. Same thing with Best Supporting Actor. J.K. Simmons at 1 to 18 is a lock. I wouldn't be surprised if the great Bobby Duvall doesn't even bother to show up. He's Bobby Duvall. He doesn't have time for that crap. For Best Actress, Julianne Moore is 1 to 20. Another huge favorite, and that's about right. It would be a huge upset if any of the other nominees won. And Patricia Arquette is the biggest favorite of all at 1 to 25 to win Best Supporting Actress. You'd have to risk $100 to win just $4. I am predicting a win for her, but if you're looking for one possible upset in the major categories, Supporting Actress has a history of surprises. There was Marissa Tomei's win over Miranda Richardson, Joan Plowright, Vanessa Redgrave, and Judy Davis in 1993. Mira Sorvino besting Joan Allen and Kate Winslet, among others, in 1995, and Juliette Binoche's stunning upset of Lauren Bacall in 1997. This year, Laura Dern at 20 to 1 would be worth risking a couple of dollars, but just imaginary dollars, of course, because gambling would be wrong. <coughs> I'm Richard Roper. This is the Roper Rundown.